Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey, we out here. Uh, I'm working on some fire pits and a little barbecue pit. And, of course, it started raining again. I don't know why it's been raining so much here lately. It's usually not that bad down here. But anyway, uh, I'm doing a video on this little barbecue pit. And I'm kind of stuck at a spot on it. So uh, I'm waiting on the guy to tell me if it's too heavy or, or if he wants to change something or whatever. And he hadn't said nothing. I may end up stuck with it and have to just do something with it. But uh, a lot of people wanted me to show how I do those little twist latches with the spring handle. So I'm going to show that right quick. And uh, it's for this little small smoker. I just figured I'd go ahead and do that the, uh, latch video since a lot of people wanted to see it. So let me show you what I got going on. This is the door we're going to do it with. And I already got the vent cut in it. I got it framed. I started drilling the hole already where the latch is going to go. And it goes on this little pit right here. It's kind of just leaning over. It's not on a stand. That thing was supposed to be a tabletop smoker. And it's gotten so heavy already that I'm trying to find out if the weight is going to be a problem for the guy. <clears throat> so anyway, I think I got everything we need right here. Got a spring handle. And by the way, I know these things are hard to find. Real hard to find. And when I found some, I bought all of them that the guy had. So if anybody wants one, I sell them for $3 a piece. And I mean, that's really not that much. They're, I mean, I bought everything he had because you can't find them. And I don't like trying to cut them off with chipping hammers and all that. So anyway, what we got. This is some half inch round tubing with about a 3 8 diameter, uh, inside diameter. This is some 3 8 round stock, just solid bar. And that fits real good inside there. I've already cut a little piece off of about an inch long for the, I guess you could call it a bushing for it. And when you do this, this is really the key part right here. This has to fit right. And that fits real good inside there. If there's a lot of play, a lot of slack in it, it's not going to work right. It has to fit tight. I mean, almost to the point where it'll barely turn in there, but it still turns, you know. But it has to fit tight. That's the key point. So what I got to do, I got to finish drilling this hole up to a half inch to fit that down inside it. And then when I get that fit inside there, we'll get to bending on this thing and the rest of it. So I'm going to drill that hole out and get that put in there. And then we'll go from there. All right, I got that piece put in there. And all I do is put a few tacks around it, good tacks to hold it. Because if you try to weld all the way around it, if you bleed through that thing, you're gonna have to take a round file or something to try to eat it out. Because it's a real tight fit, it's not gonna go through there if you bleed through it with the weld. So really just enough tacks to hold it on there good, and that's it. And then I usually set uh, a couple pieces of eighth inch down and set the door on top of it. That way it sticks through just a little bit on the back side. So now we gotta take this round stock and bend it. I usually come down two inches because that's you know roughly the measurement from this side, from the center of here to over here, to where it's gonna catch right there. Two inches is usually enough. If it's a little long, if you don't feel comfortable with that, go two and a half. You can always nip a little bit of it off if it's too long, if it's bumping the side right there. So I'm gonna get that bent. And then we'll put that in there and, and go from there. Alright, now you take your, put your washer on there. Just slide a washer all the way down. Oh, you bend that about 45 degrees. And uh, slide that washer down on it. And then slide through the back side of the door. where that bumps up against it. And then you're gonna tack that washer to the rod. And then we'll put a washer on the other side. 
All right, I got that tacked on. I had to stop for a while. It's evening time now, getting close to dark. That rain stopped and I had to come over here and finish this barbecue pit. It's one of those little tabletops. I gotta flip it here in a little while and paint the other side. But anyway, I had to get that done. The guy's waiting on it tomorrow. So anyway, where I left off, I tacked that washer on there and it's just a couple tacks because you don't want to bleed through it too bad. And of course it'll still twist. Then you're gonna want to flip it over. Make sure that washer stays tight against your bushing right there. Make sure it's turned to where this part that, that you bent already will be turned where it's in the lock position. Put you another washer on there on this outside. Uh, might have to get a different washer. Hold on, I gotta get a different washer. All right, that one just had a burr on it, on it or something. I just put the file to it, cleaned it up. So anyway, now we're gonna tack that washer on there and bend this part over, bend it down. Remember, you got the, the uh, bend in the lock position and then we're gonna bend that one down. All right, I tacked the washer on and I bent that down. It's better if you still have some of this uh, half inch tube, round tubing. You can slide that on there and use it as leverage to bend it down. If not, you may have to tap it with a hammer or something. It's easier like that because it's less pressure on it. You won't bust that washer or anything. Of course, it'll still turn. It's probably hot. It'll still turn. And now we're almost done. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna cut the head off of this bolt and tack the thread at the end to right there. That way the spring will slide over and I can put a nut on it. All right, I went ahead and tacked the uh, end of the bolt on there. That way you don't have to weld the spring onto it. You can skip that step and just tack the spring on there if you want to. I just do that to leave the, the chrome, nickel plate, whatever it is on the handle. And that way it, it just looks better to me. So the next step is, is to put another washer on there Put your washer on, I already have it on there. Slide, you're gonna have to, if you weld that uh, bolt end on there, you're gonna have to buff your welds back down so that washer and the spring will go over it. So then slide your spring on. Stop it about where your nut's gonna stop right there. Slide that washer up to it and tack that washer to it. And that way your nut will go on the bottom, another washer in the nut or whatever. So I'm gonna tack that on and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, hinge this thing to the uh, firebox. And that way we, I can show you the last step on it. All right, I got the door put on there. <clears throat> and you can see at this point, the door is real loose. And that's in the lock position. And that's because you have this gap from where the, the latch is between the door. So what I do here is I take another piece of this 3 8 round stock. This is usually, just about every time, this is almost exactly what it needs. 
and you can usually reach through here put it up there and kind of test it you know so what I do with this is I tack it right here where the latch is gonna go on the inside tack it up and then close your door and see if it latches if the latch still won't go up you can take your grinder and kind of buff that down a little bit and if you already know I mean if you can reach through here if you can reach through there and already see that it's not going to be quite right and it's going to be too tight I think it's going to be all right in there this time then you can kind of buff you know you can kind of feel for it right there can't get it out of there now but anyway that's what's going to tighten your latch up on there when it goes on that and it don't have to be this 3 8 round stock it can be whatever you need just something that it's going to twist on and latch up so I'm going to tack that on there get a feel for it see what it's like and then come back and look at it all right y'all I got the little piece put in there and that latches it up you can see there's not really any movement in it now but then you just twist it up I hadn't tightened that nut all the way up on it and that'll tighten that spring up some you can just move it then open it up and one thing about this if it seems a little loose you can always try to knock this part in some bend it in a little bit if it seems a little tight you can try to bend it out a little bit it's kind of hard to do without heat now with that 3 8 round stock you might have to put a little heat on it to make it move because you don't want to bust your washer or your bushing or nothing out so you can see it'll just twist back and forth I usually right here I usually skip that little neck part out I just I cut it a little bit long and it left that part on there I forgot to cut it off at the end but it's not hurting nothing then you just latch it down and it's there now so anyway that'll do it man I hope that helps somebody remember the main part is is this bushing right here has got to be tight I mean there's very little very little play in it it's my son over there waving and you can't have hard the very little littlest amount of play that you can have is what you want and there's hardly anything in there and that does it so remember if you can get half inch round tubing with a 3 8 inside diameter and 3 8 round stock that's the best way to go that's the best thing I found that has fit you know together well enough to do it with I tried I tried with some quarter inch and what I thought was some uh, tubing that had a quarter inch diameter but it was too much slack in it it wouldn't work but this works just fine so anyway man I hope that helps somebody I'm gonna show his throwing star so anyway man I hope that helps somebody if you like these type of videos man please like and subscribe come back for the next one a video on this pit should be coming soon uh I'm waiting on the guy to see what he's gonna say he asked me a while ago if it came with legs so I mean of course it comes with legs I don't know exactly what's going on with it but I'm gonna finish it soon and the video should be coming up next week if nothing else so man y'all please like and subscribe come back for the next one we'll see you then